uh, some of you actually probably already saw it in the server, but uh, he made a he made a little like spreadsheet of how much playtime I have of all the DDLC mods on the channel. I thought it was actually kind of interesting. And I was like, oh, that's neat. <laughs> I was like, I think so yeah, basically how he got this chart, he basically, from what I can gather, is he just went to the videos and just took the entire, like, how long it takes for each of them, how long the videos are, then who they're focused on. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So yeah, it's like Summer Hope are all, this since it's Natsuki focused, it's like he just basically got the time for all the Natsuki videos. I mean, for all the Summer Hope videos, Max and Music, Coldest Summer. I think he also, and weirdly enough, he even, like, sectioned it, like, I thought was really cool. Like, fucking all the After Story videos are in the same section, even though, as we all know, these videos do, did not all come out one after the other. So I thought it was actually really cool that he actually put the mods by section. Like, it's actually really fucking, <laughs> it's actually really fucking organized. I thought that was really sick. Like, yeah, he's got it for Monica, Se Natsuki, Sayori, Yuri, and then if it's a mod that isn't really focused on anyone in particular. I don't really know what he, so I'm assuming what he used to judge the criteria is like before I picked her out. Like for example, part one in Blue Skies counted as an everyone mod since I didn't pick a route yet. And I guess part two started off as Natsuki because I think that's when I picked Natsuki's route. I thought this was really interesting. Ooh, I liked it. Looking cool, Joker. The Halloween one. It was Halloween, so <laughs> didn't really focus on anybody. Yeah, I thought it was actually pretty good. I didn't really like actually sit here and look through all of it for a good portion. I got no thank you. I'm sad right now. Fucking, I was gonna thank people in a bit. You guys are fucking raising a train. I appreciate the hype train, but I was gonna do it all. <laughs> Just right now, I was reading the thing. Take your continue. Relax, DJ. Relax. Uh, you know, we got fruits. We got fucking the Monica route, Sayori route. You got the Yuri route parts. You got bad ending. <laughs> Weirdly, he only counted bad ending Sayori and Yuri as a Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> you only counted that as a Yuri video, I, and it's like, I mean, considering what the chart looked like over there, she probably needs the help, so, you know, I, I'm not really going to sit here and say you gotta give it to Sayori as well, because, you know, Yuri probably needs the assistance. <laughs> uh, I counted, I think, the original festival as a Natsuki one, which makes sense, we went down her route. Poems and Promises? Did Poems and Promises have routes? I actually didn't remember if it did. I guess it did. I don't know. Oh no, I, I think it was because it was Natsuki focused. I actually don't remember it too much. It's been nice. so long. Midas, I guess, yeah, Sayori was the only Doki in Midas, so it would be a Sayori focused mod. It did? It did? Oh, okay. Twin Realities, that wasn't everyone mod because I don't think we got a chance to pick anybody. Date Club, yeah, same thing there. Lost Ascension, yeah, on the run was a Natsuki focused. Relapse was Sayori. I always like to argue Relapse was kind of like Sayori and Monica focused slightly, but I mean, if you just want to, if, if you had to pick one, then yeah, Sayori. <laughs> Love and Literature was Natsuki, and then Summertime, he divvies up all the fucking... <laughs> okay, he got a little specific with Summertime. <laughs> he broke down the video. <laughs> he like gave a little bit of the minutes to Sayori, a little bit to Yuri. <laughs> he like broke that shit down, bro. <laughs> he got, he, he fucking went specific with Summertime. He was like, fucking, look, he, he, div he divvied it up. <laughs> Every minute counts. He, he divvied that shit up. Rain clouds, Sayori, President Natsuki, Vera Lutra Club 2. Yeah, that wasn't, <laughs> it didn't have any routes. Encore, a little bit of Monica, Night of Sayori, a lost chapter. Yeah, God's in Jerome, longer roads, I think. Okay, see, okay, th 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 there is some, there's, there's some little errors here, like longer roads. I don't think we picked Monica, f like, in part one. I don't think, unless there was, I don't know. Again, it's like I'm trying to sit here and say like, ah, there's an error here on like a video I probably recorded like three years ago and I don't even fucking remember. So <laughs> for all I know, he's correct. And I'm just sitting here like, oh, my bad. Because <laughs> I don't know when you pick your route in Longer Road. So for all I know, it could have actually been in part one that I picked Monica. So we're gonna make him start over for a mistake. I mean, obviously, if this isn't 100% accurate, I don't really care. It's base. It, it's more of a summary, I guess. It's still a pretty good summary. It's close enough, if anything. This person should have a cookie for all this analyzing. Yeah, no, that's why I'm showing it because I was really proud of what they made of what they did. I was really proud of this, so I felt the need to show it because I was like, this is actually really fucking. This is actually really cool. It was cool. Someone actually took the time to fucking do this. 
Again, murder case, abridged, disappearance. Again, brain clouds, one last memory, somnium, somnium don't, day with Monica, gotta take two, hypnopompic, vigilante. <laughs> oh, that's where all the Monica points probably came from. <laughs> Game of consciousness, leading feelings, blue skies, Natsuki. That's where all of Natsuki's points came from. <laughs> he even did the Monica extras. <laughs> See, look at that. <laughs> the little three parts that were the Monica extras. <laughs> fucking. Oh, that's where all of Sayori's points fucking come from. Fucking goddamn. <laughs> I know Natsuki's definitely came from Redux. Yeah, a good portion of Natsuki's points came from Redux. True reality, nobody. Club, club, nobody. Forward momentum. Keeper of reality, dimensions. Captive heart. That's, wait, why did part? Oh, that was when we decided to not like kill Monica. <laughs> he fucking part eight. Oh, it's Monica now. He picked her. <laughs> he picked her in that final part. I saw it. <laughs> it's a Monica mod now. <laughs> he fucking started from part eight. <laughs> as if Monica needed more of the fucking thing on the. As if Monica needed more playtime fucking points. Again, my lord. Keeper of reality was nobody. Uh, Emerald affection. Yuri parable. A date with Sayori. Natural disaster. Natsuki. Did we go down? Oh, right. Because, wow. He actually, I don't know. I think he did watch these videos then. Because he specifically put Natsuki for natural disaster. And in the natural disaster mod, it's never said. But in the video, the developer told us that it's Natsuki focused. So, no, yeah, he did watch these videos or something. Because I remember in the actual mod, there's no way for you to even tell that it's Natsuki focused. But the developer told us in while we were playing it that it was Natsuki focused, and we said it. <laughs> he was here. He's real. <laughs> he wa I, mean, I don't know if he was in the chat. I doubt that. I mean, I was just saying he watched the video. <laughs> I don't know if he was watching it live, chat. Again, <laughs> green passion. Do he considered Doki Vision a Sayori mod. I, I guess. I mean, you have sex. <laughs> I, I, I guess. I think this person is the goat. He is the goat. He's pretty cool. This is a pretty cool thing. Our two realities. Dokis and dragons. See, he could have got really... <laughs> he could have got really creative and fucking... Like, fucking picked you know, each individual person who we got their route for in Dokis and Dragons, but I'm not gonna get on him for that. That seems really annoying. <laughs> Retry Monica. Monica and Sayori. Oh, look at that. Noir is Natsuki focused. Oh, no, he made a mistake. <laughs> no, he made an error. <laughs> No worries. I think he got it. I think he thought he put it in the Sayori one. No, he's supposed to put it in the. I mean, he's supposed to put it in the Sayori. Put it in the Natsuki one. No, there's an error. He messed up. That goes to Sayori. Restart it. What's like? What's zero? Oh, that's probably. I want more Sayori because it's only 20 minutes long and it's focused on Sayori. That's that's probably. I want more Sayori. It's definitely I want more Sayori. <laughs> the Sayonica mod got both Sayori and Monica. It's funny. Search Call of the Dead is nobody. Welcome Lurch Called Player is a little bit and then uh uh <laughs> But yeah, no, it's cool. So yeah. Looking at all that though, yeah, then we <laughs> then we he then he made a little chart adding it all up into the playtime section. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he brought it up into the playtime section, and you know, everybody's a lot. <laughs> that, that, that's what we take. That's the biggest takeaway from this. <laughs> this is that everybody has. You know, you know. Besides the obvious elephant of Yuri being so low, I'm surprised Sayori's as high as she is. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, besides the obvious that y Yuri being so low, I'm surprised Sayori is, like, that fucking... She's close to Natsuki, honestly. Like, that's pretty fucking close. I guess there are... We did play a good amount of Sayori-focused mods. <laughs> it's three days of Sayori. 
<laughs> That's a whole three days of Sayori. Yeah, it's like Monica, yeah, if I can... Yeah, then there's... Yeah, yeah, it may also play a lot of non-focused mods, I guess, is the other thing we can take away from this. But granted, most of that's probably due to abridged. <laughs> that is like where a majority of that those time came from. <laughs> they don't count Sayori's time in the stream. See, she's here. <laughs> Honestly, with all about a time, Sayori bought fucking breaks. I, mm, I don't know. I, I think I don't think it would even help her reach first place. <laughs> Let's start, shall we? Hey, don't just skip past this stuff. This one's kind of different. Our castle walls is a Doki Doki Show fan, Mana. Hey, you said this one's kind of different. This is the, this is what they all say. <laughs> Zombie played only after the official game has been completed. It contains spoilers for the official game. Hey, Mana. Hey! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you should have started with this one, then. <laughs> I was about to start skipping. I was going to be wait, what the hell? <laughs> So heads up, this model contains instances of flashing colors, bullying, physical violence, verbal abuse, self-harm, censor, nudity, sexual violence, unskippable explicit dialogue. Alright, some of that stuff is already in regular DDLC, slash, probably not that bad. The the, the red stuff will probably have to be said, maybe. Because <laughs> I, was, I was like, the yellow stuff, I kinda, it's kind of already in DDLC. The white stuff's, eh. <laughs> I was like, the red stuff, I had to be there. <laughs> There will be warnings shown right before the flash and colors are exposing content on the top end of this. There you go, they got the little, they got the little flash. It's gonna make me think it's like a quick time event. <laughs> it's the flash quick time event, go! Are you loving our colors agree? Yes. Let's, oh sorry, it's not yes, it's let's do this thing. Why can't I not agree anymore? I'll see, that saves me from having to save the author. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Zero here. And welcome to Doki Doki Our Castle Walls. I'll see they put the Doki Doki in there so I can actually say the title right. Look at me. <laughs> I'm so good at this. So yeah, this was rec one of the those few mods that I got recommended to play a lot. <laughs> and I said I was going to play it eventually. And then eventually finally came around. I'm so, I'm so glad eventually is here. <laughs> So, yeah, it is time to play it. Here we got a little title screen. We got, we got, we got the castle. We got the walls. We got the R. <laughs> it's their castle, so we got the R. You know? <laughs> it all makes sense. I will say, though, the Doki Doki does look a little weird on the castle, but, I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. I like the little noises the menu makes, though. I will say that. All right, let me... What's your name? Oh, look, it says... Now, the okay is fully spelled out now. <gasps> I don't like it. <laughs> Whoa. Ever popped off on that piano, decided to pop off. The text box has interesting colors. It gives me Halloween vibes, probably because it's purple and orange. <laughs> I mean, it is October. See, guys, I just waited until it was thematic to play this mod. It's October, so... You know, I just waited perfectly. You're welcome. <laughs> this is the mod maker. Hello, and thanks for choosing to play this mod. Before we get started, there's something quite important I must mention right now. There will be eight parts in this mod where you'll lose total control of being able to advance the text box. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, though. It'll only be used when to, when to properly time words along with certain music that plays or events that happen. This will happen to the text box indicate when it will happen. Don't worry, it's not actually active right now. Try clicking. <laughs> that gave me like those fucking quick. That gave me like quick time event. Fucking <laughs> made me think I had to click the box. <laughs> I was like, do I have to click on it? Like, <laughs> that gave me like fucking quick time event. Fucking tr tr trigger. Once you're on this box, you better mess around with the quick menu below before losing control and making any necessary changes to stuff. Oh, don't forget the escape key and keyboard brings up the save menu. Give it a try if, if you'd like. I mean, look, I played a DDLC. This ain't my first rodeo mod, okay? <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> Just telling me like I don't know what I what I can do. <laughs> my mod does not have QTs in them. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> 
When this mod when this mode is active, just sit back and relax. This will change anything until the Xbox does this to show when you regain control. Oh, another thing to mention is that this mod contains usage of colored words. Like, oh. <laughs> I heard the definition of colored words and I was like, huh? <laughs> and I thought of like colorful language. I was going to be like, oh, whoa, whoa, what does this mod say? And I was like, oh, <laughs> it's colored, like literally. <laughs> like this, this, or this. <laughs> He's used for important story details to be remembered or for different voices. <laughs> All right, enjoy the mod. <laughs> That's interesting, I guess. Colored text. Thank you for the sub, Calitex. And 11 months. Thank you, Zero. Your way of thinking through mods took off my rose tinted glasses on this mod. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry I ruined it for you. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Chapter 1 New Friends. That reminded me, I'm sorry, I like fucking, that reminded me of like the strip. Oh my god, see, October 5th, we're playing in October, thematic chat, see, this was all a part of my plan, you're welcome. I planned this. <laughs> it's October now. <laughs> it's thematic. All planned. But it's October 2nd, shut up. <laughs> Our story starts out in an area known as Northside. A community with lakes and forests within the outskirts of town. It's a nice, rather quiet area with a population of around 1,100 people. A village, a village big enough to where everyone doesn't know everyone, but small enough to where sometimes people drive their zero-turn lawnmowers on the main roads. And here, where we have Northside High School. With an enrollment of around 550 students. It's located north of the bustling downtown city, hence the name. Most importantly, this is a story about a special boy that attends this very school. Northtown gives me like Earthbound vibes. It sounds like the town to like Mother for like the next Mother game. Mother 4. <laughs> this one starts in Northtown. I'm sitting in my last class of the school day, Algebra. This is one class I can tolerate. The idea of working with numbers and solving problems makes me use my brain a lot, which I enjoy. I've always enjoyed numbers and how certain things had different numbers on them as a kid. Same for colors. So this is not quite up my alley, but relatively close. There's only 10 minutes left of class. May as well spend it on the assignment we were given today so that it doesn't interfere with my free time at home. Today went by relatively decent. I speak to a school counselor every Tuesday due to some social struggles I have, and things seem to flow pretty well today. What's especially nice is that my counselor sessions are immediately after lunch and last about 45 minutes. Which means I get to skip three-fourths of my least favorite class. History. What? History's literally better than math. You're wrong. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I already hate this mod. <laughs> What's also nice is that my history teacher understands the whole counselor situation and takes time to go through the lesson that day with me in person. See? Because history's good. <laughs> Maybe she should be nicer to his, his subject. <laughs> Ten minutes pass, and... The bell finally rings. Another uneventful school day out of the way. I walk out of the classroom, backpack attached, and start making my way towards the school exit. Oh god, this background scared me. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> Why is the first thing I see in chat orange? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like you're allergic to the color orange. Orange? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> In my DDLC mod? The background was based on a high school I attended. Ah. Wait, what did you say? Sorry. I walk out of the classroom, backpack attached, start making way towards the school exit. I meant to click return. <laughs> Exit. But isn't that where people also enter? Eh, whatever. Gonna be a nice lazy day today. Time to go home and... Wait. Whoa. Whoa. Hang on. Okay, I'm, I'm hanging. Something... Someone catches my eye. That's one of my classmates. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> who is this? I, I don't know who this is. <laughs> 
The Saint Sayori. She has an orange bow. Why does she have an orange bow? <laughs> oh, orange! <laughs> ah, it's Sayori. So is exactly one of the popular girls in school. She's always been friendly to mostly everyone from what I've seen. Not gonna lie, I'm a little surprised I'm not friends with her. I guess just haven't had many opportunities to talk with her throughout high school. Most importantly, something in the visual department is what brought her to my attention. Eagerly approaching Sayori, I carefully tap on her shoulder to grab her attention this time. Hey, Sayori! She slows down her walking and looks over to where I am. Oh, hi, Zero. What's going on? Your bow usually wears orange today. What brought upon this change? Okay, they explained it. I just thought it was a weird change. I'm glad I also think it's a weird... See, me and the MC, we're thinking. We're, we're, we're on the same wavelength. Why is she wearing orange? See, he doesn't know either. You know, the only difference is he doesn't like history and he likes math. I can't relate with that one, but we'll have to fix that later. <laughs> Rise and send upwards if she's looking towards the ceiling. Oh, I almost forgot. I guess I want to try something different today and only a few people noticed. Dang, that's gotta feel bad. I guess they're similar in color, but I noticed right away. I did too. <laughs> I was just wondering. Anyways. She smiles at me with acknowledgement, looks away, and continues walking. Where I'm heading is in the same direction, so she uh, so the awkwardly unintentional walking in the same direction motion ensues. Passing by the cafeteria, I walk pa pa ah. I walk past the poster board that shows various papers and flyers, mainly for school-related events. I stop in my tracks because one of the flyers stick out like a sore thumb. While Sari walks away from me, I take the flyer off the board and inspect it. Do you want to broaden your literary horizons and discover cool new books? You like discussing with people just why Harry Potter is a better read than Shakespeare, or why such comparisons are utterly meaningless? Come down to our daily after-school sessions where we explore a variety of stuff to read and talk about everything we liked or hated about it. Literature Club meetings every, Literature Club meetings every school day at 3 p.m. in room 367. See you there. I don't want to go. <laughs> they mentioned Harry Potter. Ew. <laughs> so many colors. Blue, pink, purple. Has this always been here? Why am I just now noticing this? Wait. Literature club? What's that supposed to be? I swear I've heard that word somewhere. Maybe Sayori knows more about... Wait, what the heck? Where'd she go? I scan the area around me and see her heading towards a stairway that's perpendicular from the school. Doors? Exit? A big mouth? Z zero? I'm, I'm confused. What is happening? <laughs> I think of the right word sometime. <laughs> Flyer in hand, I start walking away. I start walking again. This time, making my movement a little more optimal so I can catch up to her. Catch that girl! This results in me getting kind of getting in front of people and getting in their way, but they're not important right now. They never were. <laughs> After a moment or two, I happen to catch up to her. Just enough so she can hear me. Hey! One more thing! After realizing how loud I was, I fear that I'll have people's eyes fixated on me, which makes me uncomfortable. Coming right in the face, I wish this feeling would stop soon. Zero, what's up? I take the flyer that's in my hand and put it a little close to her face. Do you know anything about this club? It takes her approximately one second to step away a little bit, then respond back. Of course, I'm the vice president. I'm the vice president of that club. You're one of the first people to ask me about this. Want to check it out? Staring blankly at Sayori while thinking way too hard. I factor in the time that most clubs around here take out of take out of the day. Take roughly about an hour or so, if I'm not mistaken. I say we reject it. <laughs> we don't have enough time. <laughs> and I plan on reading some more manga when I get home. See exactly. <laughs> Actually, we could just read in the literature club. <laughs> that's not the good. Ex that's not the excuse I think you would come up with. <laughs> If you said anything but reading, then I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'd do that. I'm like, well, you can just read in there. Besides, this is a club about literature. Is that the word? Eh, may as well check out some of the clubs around here. Okay, wait, does he not? Okay, maybe he doesn't know what literature means. That could be fair, I guess. <laughs> Monica in the chat, you with the text box. Say, Ori, why is your bow orange? <laughs> Monica, they explained it.
Well, actually, they only explained why her bow was orange. She's just wearing it for some reason, actually. It was barely explained. <laughs> she was... I'm pretty sure the reasoning was that it was the only way for to catch the MC's, uh, MC's eye. I mean, I don't think she did it on purpose, but she caught his eye. She was just being a girl and trying something new, but it caught his eye. So it's what led us into this whole, uh, uh, like, fray of, bo of bow wearing. I've yet to do, I've yet to do so in my high school career. Sure, what's there to lose? So it gives me a questioning look, then that changes to a smile. Cool, follow me then. As we make our way to the, as we make our way to the classroom that this club is supposed to be in, I can't help but become lost in thought. Wait a minute, did I lock the door when I left today? I have my keys, right? Why am I thinking about this? I must have. Wait. Keys, door, entrance, entrance. That's what the word is. Oh, we got it. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, that's what he meant. The entrance. We got it. What? What's going on? She stopped dead in her tracks. Oops, I said that out loud. Oh, my bad. Just, just thought of something that was bugging me. She smiles at me and proceeds to swing open the club room door. Well, that was more like a slow opening of the club room door, but that works. <laughs> hey, everyone! We have a guest! Guest? Yeah, I suppose that works. <laughs> Once I carefully step inside the club room, I take a moment to look around to see that I've never been in this room in my life, let alone this part of the school. I don't usually have a reason to be up this way. My trance of thinking of, ch my trance of checking out the environment is then broken by a voice I haven't heard in a while. My, what a nice surprise. Oh, Zero? I look at the girl in front of me and inspect her, though while avoiding eye contact. Wait, that's Monica. Monica. What? Why is she... Monica, I thought you were in the debate club. I've never spoken to Monica in my life, and I blurted something like this to her. This is too forward of me. Why do I do this? Before I look slightly down to the ground, I catch a glimpse of a rather blank look on her face as her hand now leaves her hips. Yeah, yes, I was. That was last year, though. I was starting to get fed up with how things were turning out, so I left that club to create this one. What brings you here in the first place? Well, I may as well be honest with her to make up for me feeling like I'm out of place. That's when I look up. That's when I look back up to her. I saw the flyer on the board near the school entrance, and I asked Sayori about it. Monica's expression lightens, and then she puts on a smile. Well, that's good to know. Do you enjoy reading? Reading? So that's what I'm getting myself into. Well, I do read in my free time every now and then, so I suppose so. Wonderful! As president, I'll try to make sure you feel welcome here. Popular girl in school is being nice to me. This feels good. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> the most popular girl in school is being nice to me. Nice. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. That's very nice of you. <laughs> it feels right. It feels right to bow in front of her. But you didn't have to do that. <laughs> no, you're ruining our street cred. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no! You're running our street cred! We don't bow! <laughs> this is my first time interacting with her, after all. As soon as I'm up straight, I see Monica, still ever so happy, return to her desk and pull out a sheet of paper. Something to my right gets caught in my peripheral vision, to which I rotate my whole body to where my sight takes me. A rather pleasant sounding voice fills my ears before my eyes can adjust to my sudden movements. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's nice of you to stop by. Wait. The girl that's now in front of me has purple hair. Purple's one of my favorite colors. Ah! That's why he likes Yuri! For her hair! Mod over! Alright, goodbye everybody! Figured it out! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> she's only about two inches taller than me, and she's also kind of pretty. 
This is making me nervous. <laughs> oh god, what do I say? No, don't get flustered. Think of something to say! <laughs> uh, hello. Can I... May I ask your name? Looks a bit nervous and looks away a bit after ask after 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 asking her after asking her that I cannot read. It's after asking her that. Oh, I'm Yuri, and you. The nervousness is still real. Zero. Looking away slightly from her leaves me with my thoughts. Yuri, that's her name. Is this girl in the same grade as us? I think I may have seen her once or twice in the library, but never paid much attention. Behind the pretty purple-haired girl named Yuri comes a much shorter pink girl walking towards us. Oh god, this man's not gonna survive, Natsuki. <laughs> Alright, oh no. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Natsuki isn't really that bad, typically, though. She just is like, you brought a boy? You know, that's all she really does. You see, there, see, there she is. <laughs> Good lord, Sayori. You brought a boy? Way to go. Jeez, isn't that a little uncalled for? As everyone's eyes are fixated on the pink-haired girl. What are you looking at? If you, got so if you gotta say something, then say it. It kind of feels like I'm being interrogated, so I look away again to avoid face-to-face -face contact with her and don't even mutter a word. Natsuki. Here he stays and says this towards the girl whose name is apparently Natsuki. She's so short, though. Is she a freshman? I'm snapped out of my trance, however, when Sayori taps on my left shoulder. Zero, this is Natsuki. She's usually full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest one of us. The smartest one of us all. No, oh, do we have a genius in the in the uh, Do we have a genius in the club? We have a pretty girl genius in the club. This is awesome. Please don't say things like that. <laughs> Oh no, she heard my thoughts. <laughs> well, it won't be wise for me to make a bad first impression of these two. Uh, well, it's nice to see you two. Or you can just keep a slight smile at me while Natsuki crosses her arms. The look on her face shows uncertainty. It sounds like you already know Monica, eh? Dude, Monica's the most popular and talented girl in school. Who on earth doesn't know her? Yes, yeah, Sayori! What are you, stupid? <laughs> Bro I'm, bro, I'm pretty sure everyone in the school knows Monica. You really hit her with the bro. <laughs> oh god, I said that without thinking. I really have to stop doing that. Monica and Sarah both turned to look at me as if I've said something wrong. Hey, well, what did he say? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Bro, I'm pretty sure everyone in the school knows Monica. What was wrong with this? <laughs> I thought this was fine. If anything, I thought, like, that's, it's, it's more like a, you know, like a, like a crack the ice joke, you know? It's like, it seems like, you know, Monica, it's like, bro, I'm pretty sure everyone in the school knows Monica. Like, yeah, it's just the, and then I, you know, I don't know, I don't see the issue with that one. Because <laughs> it's bringing up her popularity? I don't know, that doesn't seem like that's that, it just says she's known in the school, I feel like even Monica knows that. Monica's are both turned to look at me like I've said something wrong. Oh, sorry, Sayori. I call people bro pretty often. Was that why? Was it the bro? <laughs> Looks like Sayori's doing with the blank face this time. Oops. <laughs> um, had we known you were going to visit our club, we would have baked cupcakes for you in advance. Wait, was it the bro that caught them off guard? I'm so confused. I don't understand. <laughs> oh no, they didn't bake cupcakes for us! Isn't that right, Natsuki? Natsuki has a slightly annoyed expression when she looks over to Sayori. <laughs> I suppose. Yuri decides to speak up. Well, how about I make some tea for everybody? My eyes widen a bit after Yuri says that. I could go for some tea right now. Wait a second. This is a classroom. <laughs> how would... No, oh, whatever. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> No, question it! <laughs> I like how he gave up. He was, he was just like, wait, how, how do they have tea in the... <laughs> he was like, wait, what the... Where, where, where are they going to get the tea? <laughs> He's like, you know what? He, he knew it wasn't worth it. 
Yuri walks over to the closet in the corner of the room to grab what I can only guess is a tea set, while Natsuki walks over towards Sayori. Sayori pushes a few of the desks around to create a makeshift table, and she motions the two of us to take a seat. The two of us. She motions the two of us take a seat. Okay, I think it's supposed to be to take a seat. <laughs> What's Monica doing? Hmm. Looks like she's writing something. Isn't she gonna join us? Eh, she'll join if she wants. Since I don't really know Sayori and Natsuki that well, I figured an open-ended question would be one way to be a nice would be one way to be an icebreaker. So, Sayori, Natsuki, may I ask, what do you two like to read? Sayori's the first to have her mouth open. Well, I'm comfortable with most genres, except horror. I have a hard time with sci-fi as well. Believe it or not, I don't mind books that are meant for a younger demographic. That's nothing to be ashamed of, but why is she making a house with her fingers? <laughs> You're forgiven this one time. This one time. <laughs> In the words of Spider-Man, everybody gets one. <laughs> Halsey, it, you're you, you're fine for the very yeah no, no Richard stop. <laughs> Everybody gets one. <laughs> yeah, you you you. Yeah, I hold no game gross references. I I just have a rule against references in general, but it's like you it, it, it wasn't that bad compared to a lot of other references I've seen, so it's fine, I guess. Nazi's next, to, Nazi's next to speak up. I'm an avid manga reader, but don't even think I would. Re but don't even think I would read a shonen manga. Hey, <laughs> the hell you be reading then? <laughs> Actually, no. She fucking Natsuki doesn't read shonen for sure. I know that for sure. There's no way in hell Natsuki reads shonen. She definitely fucking hates shonen. <laughs> Can't believe Natsuki doesn't fucking read One Piece. <laughs> oh, she reads manga. It's one thing we kind of have in common. Kinda. Maybe this girl isn't so bad. Oh, have you read the manga about the blue robot cat? Natsuki, if you haven't read fucking Doraemon, you're a failure. <laughs> the one with no ears? I did when I was younger. It was cool and all, but I grew out of it. Hmm, okay. Okay, well, at least she read a little bit of Doraemon. I never read Doraemon, so I don't know why I'm talking. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, yeah, Natsuki, you better read Doraemon, guy who hasn't watched or read Doraemon. Yeah! <laughs> you better, you better. <laughs> Guess it's understandable. A few seconds later, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. Places a teacup in front of each of us and carefully pours hot tea for us all. Um, how are you able to keep a tea set in a classroom? Oh, I was able to get the teacher's permission beforehand. D do you like oolong tea, Zero? Oolong tea? I've never had it in my life. I slowly take a sip of the tea, and I gotta admit, this tastes good. I always enjoyed the warm, soothing feeling that accompanies this. Yuri, this is really good. It has a kind of formal feel to it. Like jasmine tea. Oh, I never thought of that. I like that. Judging by the even brighter smile on her face, I'm gonna assume I just made her day. Yuri then pours herself a cup and sits down at the closet. At the closet available. The, the closest. I keep saying closet. What's wrong with me? The closest available chair. <laughs> so, Zero, what kinds of things do you like to read? The things I like to read. I kind of like manga. My interest in it has lowered recently. I kind of enjoy romance novels, as cheesy as it sounds, and some adventure novels are rather fun to get into. Sarah Natsuki's heads perk up a little bit. Are they not expecting me to be the kind of guy who can appreciate that kind of stuff? However, they both remain quiet. So, somewhat of a reader, I guess. Yeah, that sounds correct. If I were to flat out lie to her and say I like to read a bunch of stuff, that would get messy really fast. So, better to just tell the truth and be myself. 
Plus, I don't think that would work at all. <laughs> fucking, it's like, <laughs> why do you think the base game MC didn't try it? You fucking can't be like, oh yeah, I read all the time. Yuri could tell by looking at him. She was like, you did, you definitely only read a book once. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> I read Macbeth! <laughs> uh, I read Macbeth! You know, all the classics. <laughs> Hamlet. <laughs> oh, it's your turn, Yuri. I've already asked Sayori and Natsuki. What do you like to read? Well, let's see. Yuri's finger does some weird circle motion around the top of her teacup. My favorite's usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is um, what what what? what? Uh, uh, amazing to m and to, to tell it. Oh 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 no! Uh, uh, oh 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 what what? Uh, oh oh oh. Yuri goes on, really passionate about her reading. My mind has drifted elsewhere. A blue bird has landed on the outside of one of the classroom windows. Man. That bird is far away. Uh, taking an advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been considering looking into reading some horror stories. Yuri, why would you ask a question and then continue talking? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've been considering looking into reading some horror stories. Huh? Oh, um... I probably shouldn't have spaced out on her like that. That wasn't very nice of me. <laughs> this is how I skip vanilla. A clever way of doing it. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Gary. For someone as gentle as you. I didn't even hear Monica approach us. Did her parents train her in the art of ninjutsu or something? She doesn't sit down with us, however. Hmm, I suppose. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, it's almost impossible for me to put it down. I've been told a surreal horror is successful at changing the way you look at the world. Ugh, I hate horror. I'll be honest, I myself haven't dabbled into horror. Again, with being honest to these four. Yeah, you tend to prefer cute things, right Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? Looks like Natsuki's starting to become flustered. I saw the brand new manga you recently got for your birthday. Wasn't it one called... D don't say it out loud! Ouch. My ears. Maybe listen to yourself once in a while or something. <laughs> Looks like Sayori has a dumb smile on her face. <laughs> your cupcakes, your writing. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. I'm not cute! Oh, I'm getting a call. Hello, who is this? They can't even hear you. Why do you sound so dead? Why didn't you wait until you woke up more? Also, turn on your noise suppression before I unmute you. Your fucking fan is literally attacking. I'm not unmuting you until you fucking do something about that fan. <laughs> better of young lady all right now they can hear you hi monica's still sick i still got the the itchy voice yeah oh wait parsec's open by the way if you want it <laughs> bro again with the shouting wait a second Weren't cupcakes mentioned earlier today? After recovering from the assault on my ears, my attention shifts over to Natsuki. Um, one of your hobbies is baking? Eh, well, yes, it is. Why do you care? I was gonna say something along the lines of, I think that's impressive, but if she's gonna be this rude towards me, then forget it. <laughs> Damn! Fucking. <laughs> it's just like, well, you know what? Fine! <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to know anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he will find them. <laughs> B based on the fucking chat. Based? I, uh. 
I was just wondering. I'm trying to cover from Nasuki's attitude, I look over to Sayori, whose bright face makes me feel a little more at ease. Hey Sayori, are there any other key features of this club? Well, we've talked about writing in poems last year, but only messed around with it every now and then. I've thought about sharing my work with everyone here again, but I don't feel like I've improved any. <laughs> I understand how Sayori feels. It's quite bold of one to be able to share something they've put their heart into. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Being able to open up to your readers, to bring out your vulnerabilities, and to show how, truly, how one truly feels is all part of the beauty. I'm actually really happy I didn't space out at all just now. How Yuri talked about writing was pretty captivating, not gonna lie. Yuri, I've seen what you're capable of. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Sayori feel comfortable enough to share hers again. That's a pretty solid advice from Monica. Now let's go all the- Actually, yeah, wait, wait, I just realized something. Sayori isn't confident in her writing? Damn. <laughs> At first I was gonna say, huh, that's a little- I was like, that's a little- that's a little odd. But then I was like, I feel like she does mention that her right. I, I like, feel like she does mention in the base game when you, she gives her a poem- when she gives her poem, she's like, it's not that good. So it's like, her not being that confident is fair. Like, in the beginning, she does say she wants to read everyone's poems. She's fine with sharing, but it's like, you know, I could see it be to having a different take where it's like, maybe she doesn't want to share. <laughs> so it's like, huh. Natsuki looks around at all of us. Reading everyone's poems again doesn't sound too bad. It's not like I want to or anything. And there it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> all of us say nothing for a short time. Which makes me feel a little bit awkward, but thankfully that feeling goes away once Monica speaks up. I mean, she kind of is in the side stories either. Yeah, in the side stories, she straight up doesn't want to share them at all. Yeah, that's another. That's a, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's a, why I was like, it, it kind of works here because yeah, in the side stories, she doesn't want to share them at all, and Monica kind of, she, she kind of like you know sees it by accident, and Sayori's like, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Let's go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other, just like last year. How does that sound? Okay, but she still likes the idea. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, let's do it! So, Zero, what do you think about joining our club? Well, it gives me a warm smile, but I can't help but get lost in thought. Okay, wait, hold up, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Why do I, is she okay with it now? Hold up, wait, what was her reasoning? I, I got sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't think about this. Because <laughs> now my brain's all over the place. Uh, well, we've talked about writing poems last year, but only mess around with every now and then. I've thought about sharing work with everyone here again, but I don't feel like I've improved any. Yeah, I don't know, it feels weird. I mean, I guess you can maybe argue that maybe she's okay with it because everybody has to do it now. You know? So it's like an, an even playing field. You know, because, yeah, it's like if I was just told, all right, you're going to share your poem and nobody else's, then you're like, oh, what the fuck? And you're, like, <laughs> you're a little worried. So it's like now that everybody is going to do it, it's like, all right, now it's a now it's an even playing field. Now we're all doing it. <laughs> so it's like, all right, I, 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 could see, I, could see, I could see that. I could see her, like, being okay with it now because everybody has to do it instead of just, you know, one thing. Monica gives me a warm smile, but I can't help but get lost in thought. Will I really have a good time in this club? I've already went over that. I already went over that this won't interrupt my free time at home at all. I wouldn't mind having a few more friends, but do I really want to be in a club with Natsuki? Damn! <laughs> I mean, I don't think she was that bad. <laughs> okay. Okay, we might be going a little overboard here. <laughs> I mean, she had a bit of a tune, but I don't know. That was a little... <laughs> this guy's starting to grow on me. I was, I was like, oh, god damn. I didn't think she was that bad. I mean, jeez. First impressions mean a lot. But then there's also Sayori, Monica, and Yuri. Those three have been friendly towards me. So one straggle out of the bunch shouldn't be that bad. Majority rules, right? What was that one quote about the bad apple? 
Zero, you there? <laughs> Man's only brought back to reality after Suri tapped on my shoulder. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to space out. Better make eye contact with Monica. I better make eye contact with Monica right now. She is the club president and all. Yes, I would like to join. Y'all seem like a nice bunch. I flash a smile towards Monica. She does the same. And that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. I just think they bring my left hand to the back of my head. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring next to them. Who's going to take care of the makeshift table of desks we made? Zero. We're, we're, not zero. Zero? We are how you express yourself. What? Oh, yeah, of course. Our meeting's dismissed now. Yeah, the members will clean up the mess here. We got this. She then proceeded. Oh! <laughs> oh, gosh! Well, that is a. That's I, 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 odd. It's odd. I, I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like it. It's weird. I don't like it. <laughs> then proceeds to give me a thumbs up. That's nice of her. Nah. Oh, okay, we're switching to Monica's point of view. Interesting. Okay, oh, we get the see. Oh, I was just about to mention. I was like, was there a reason that we actually have a <laughs> sprite on the front? And I was like, ah, oh. there, there it is. All right, so there is something I wanted to touch on. He mentions first impressions mean a lot, but then they say, "Oh, Monica Neri." Okay, so I'm assuming the reasoning as to why he doesn't like Natsuki is. I'm assuming the reasoning we're trying to give is, you know, Natsuki's first impression wasn't the best. But it's like, I don't know. To I mean, technically, it's kind of like. The MC arguably is kind of being a hypocrite with this because, I mean, his first impression that he gave, while he is being nice, he also spaced out, like, twice <laughs> when they were talking to him. So it's like, it's kind of something where it's like, he isn't really giving the best first impression either. So I feel like he's kind of being a hypocrite to judge Natsuki based on her first impression alone when nobody else is really judging him off of his first impression. Well, besides Natsuki, but I mean, but even then, Natsuki's barely judging you off your first impression. Natsuki's just judging you off your gender. <laughs> he isn't exactly being respectful himself. Yeah, that's what I was like. He isn't exactly being the best himself. Like, he's kind of, like, he's kind of spaced out twice, I think almost three times. So it's like, I don't know. It, it feels like it's a bit of an exaggeration. Like, it's a bit of, like, a little bit of, like, a damn. Like, I don't think she deserves all that. I mean, you know, I, like, I like I agreed with the whole thing earlier. What was, like, I was going to say more to her, but she clearly didn't. She snapped back at me. That one's fine. Makes sense. But, like, to almost be like, I don't want to join the club because Natsuki's here. It's like, you only known her for, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> you didn't even know her for that long. Like, I feel like I was a little too quick to judge. Thank you for the resub, Mario. 27 months. Let's go. I don't even know what Z you have. What Z do you have, Mario? Reveal yourself! <laughs> okay, Monica. I'll see you another time. Oh, he opened the door. I was like, is he... I was like, what? And I was like, okay. Okay, you have a green Z with a crown. We got the two-year badge. Ooh, you're about to get the... You're about to get the... About to get the silver one soon, Mario. Okay. That turned out a lot better than I thought. By the time the zero is completely gone, Yuri starts taking care of the tea set while Sehari and Natsuki are rearranging the desks to form it from their makeshift table. My eyes are stuck on Yuri taking care of the tea set for a bit. Then they dart over to Sayori, who seems to be finished with what she was doing. I then clear my throat to try to get everyone's attention. Um, everyone, gather around. I've got something to ask. Everyone looks at everyone looks at me with faces full of questions. Monica, what's going on? What do you guys think of Zero being in the club? Everyone looks over at me like I said something wrong, especially Natsuki. Why should I talk about how I feel about him? Well, doesn't he seem a little different? M Monica, everyone is different in their own way, and Zero seems to be no exception. I'll save my thoughts on this. Hold up. <laughs> That is, from what little I've seen thus far. Hmm, so I'm guessing you're not opposed to him. Right, Yuri? Uh, 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 well, no. I'll remain optimistic about this. I never really hear Yuri talk about optimism. 
But I can't tell whether it's pleasant or disturbing. What about you, Natsuki? I don't know him very well. He's probably just like every other weirdo in this school. Monica, it's not like you to worry this much. If we set a good example for him, then I'm sure things will run smoothly around here. You're right, Sayori. I'm glad we have a new member and all, but I'm worried about what will happen in the future. I've seen how Zero reacted to Natsuki today, and it didn't look very promising. The best thing we, do, we can do is be ourselves around him and show him who we really are. Isn't that Natsuki's fault, though? <laughs> Natsuki looks over at Sayori, probably thinking, keep your mouth shut, while Yuri's smiling silently over what she said. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Bro, what's happened? Natsuki's not that mean! <laughs> well, thanks for your time, everyone. Be back here the same time tomorrow, like always. After the girls said their goodbyes, I walk over to the teacher's desk to grab some papers and the classroom keys. Maybe Sari's right. I shouldn't worry about this. Okay, maybe she's worried about his safety. Okay. Because a part of me was like, is Monica worried about having an autistic person in the club? Because I'm like, that wouldn't make any sense. But I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, it, maybe she's worried about, you know, you know, like, them act, like, I'm like, okay, that's, I think that would make more sense, that would make more sense, because I'm like, if it was Monica being worried about having a fucking autistic person in the club, that was gonna be like, huh? <laughs> no fuck, is he supposed to be autistic? <laughs> like, yeah, there was a warning in the beginning, guys! <laughs> I mean, granted, I guess the mod itself didn't say it yet, but yeah, there was a warning in the beginning. Even if our new club member is special needs, I'm happy that we're much bigger now. See, wh what? Oh no, I just gave it credit. Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh no. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what- I don't think that's what Monica would act like. <laughs> like, I like- I don't- I don't know. I, I, this ain't hitting with me. <laughs> like, why would- like, that doesn't really make any sense. Like, like, like I said, Monica being worried about him being there because she's worried about, like, him getting hurt or his safety, I feel like makes a lot more sense than Monica not wanting like somebody with autism in her club. That doesn't that doesn't sound right. I don't know. That sounds weird. Excuse me? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I kinda already said I don't think I need need to re-say it. I don't know, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Like, cause it's, cause it's like, cause I feel like the way we've always said, it's like, out of all four of the characters in the game, it's like, it just, it feels weird to have Monica be the, the one who's judging him. Like, think about of all, out of all four of the girls, the one we know who judge the most is like, Yuri <laughs> and Natsuki. <laughs> These two are the most judgmental characters in the game. Yuri judges Natsuki's, Natsuki's manga and even judges the MC when he says all he reads is manga. She's all like, I see, not much of a reader then. <laughs> like, she's clearly judging him for not reading, a, for not reading manga very, for not fucking reading anything other than manga. And judges Natsuki. In the most polite way possible. And judges Natsuki for he, he looks down on Natsuki for reading manga. And Natsuki, she, she's obviously just judges everybody. But it feels like the two people who don't judge people the most is like Monica and Sayori. So it feels super odd to, for either of them to be like, well, I don't know if we should have this person in the club. Like I'm like that seems really just out of character. Yeah, that's, that's kind of fucked up actually. I think it's just oddly phrased. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm hoping it was just oddly phrased. I mean, the creator of the mod is like the, the, the when they when they like they made the MC autistic. Clearly, they're doing that for a reason. So it's not like they're they're like a, against it or anything. It's yeah, just no, very I, weird. I, I I'm saying like I'm hoping it was oddly phrased because I'm like what makes more sense for Monica's character is that she's like protective of him because he's autistic would make sense. But her acting as if he's, like, a detriment to the club, I feel like, is something that I'm like, uh, I'm not clicking with that. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> I think she's... 
Like, maybe it might need to be rephrased then if that was what the intention, if the intention was the other one. Leaving the crawl bloom to start my journey home. Can't help but feel accomplished. Actually in a school club now. I share a hobby of mine with others now. Walking out of the school campus and into the courtyard shows various students idling about, along with red and yellow trees swaying lightly with the wind. The environment's a little different due to me walking home nearly an hour later than usual, and it's nothing I can't get used to. The autumn breeze and the smell of freshly cut grass feels quite pleasant and overall adds to the good mood I have going on. Maybe me being in a club will help with my future somehow. Mom and Dad will be so proud now that I'm part of... I stop dead in my tracks and stare at a tree that's in front of me. Mom. Dad. Big brother. I'm lonely without you guys. Make sure you're all still here. I miss you so. Shaking my head to get out of the trance I was just in, I forced myself to keep on walking home. Minutes pass, and my mind begins to wander. I like thinking about what Monica said. What did Monica say at the end of today? No, seriously, what was it? Eh, I'm sure I'll think of it later. Next, an image of Natsuki making her hump face pops into my mind. She said she likes manga, but... I don't know, man. You shouted too much today. <laughs> that that's 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 the reason he really doesn't like Natsuki. She's, she's too loud. <laughs> <laughs> she's too loud. She's too loud. Friends with her. Sorry, smiling face shows up next. Sorry, eh? I knew she was a people person, but I didn't expect her to be in a club like this one. Go figure. I will say this, now that we can talk about it, I will be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Orange Bow Sayori, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, is she keeping it? I don't know if she's keeping it, I'm just saying, like, now I'm giving my opinion. I don't really like Orange okay. Bow Sayori, well, that's just me, I don't know. I was never a big fan <laughs> of the color orange, though, because I feel like orange only can really go with dark colors a lot of the time. Like, I never really see orange go with a light color and look good. Like, I've only seen orange go well with dark colors, like orange and black, or like, or... Even, like, orange and purple for Halloween, you know? Like, it's, like, orange and, like, brighter colors, I feel like, never really look all that good together. Go figure. Pretty cool, though. Then, Yuri's small smile appears in my mind. Yuri. I've never interacted with her until today. She's so pretty. She even made tea for us all today. Not a lot of people in school are that nice to me. I think she's just thinking about how books take her to another world or something. What if I brought one of my books in for her? Looking up to the sky, I can't help but smile at the thought of Yuri accepting one of my books. Yeah, that's a great idea. Dad always told me to choose my friends wisely, and I think Yuri will be just fine. I just realized him saying that she got tea for everybody just reminded me that Natsuki got shafted. She didn't get to bring her because she didn't bring her cupcakes today. <laughs> oh no, she didn't bring enough today. I'm like, bro, Natsuki got shafted out of her only scene where she's nice. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean she didn't bring enough? There's only five people. Well, no, she was. There's four of them. She they didn't know Sayori was bringing somebody. Oh. So she, she only brought four, four cupcakes. cupcakes. That's unrealistic. You don't make a batch of four cupcakes. You can't do that. Actually, that is true. She'd have to make six at most. I mean, the, I think the least amount of cupcakes like made is at six. At least, at least, like I guess six. Yeah. Oh, that's like the because in in those trays they come in sixes. They actually come in twelves. I mean, you can maybe make trays. maybe you can make the argument that she ate two during lunch. <laughs> maybe you can say yeah. like she ate two during lunch. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair about him not liking Natsuki being being not not to be fair him not not nah. to be fair about him not liking Natsuki being loud. People with autism get sometimes have a fear of loud noises. That's fair, but you know who else is loud? Sayori. <laughs> so I was like, Sayori's actually Say Sayori's decently loud too. 
She wasn't that loud here. I guess. But still, that's what I'm saying. It's like Sayori's also decently loud. I feel like that should be brought up a little bit too. Like Sayori's definitely meant to be the loud one overall. Sayori's the loud, like, the loud energetic one. Did Sayori not barge open the door when she came into the club? I think she did. Like, well, yeah, she did, because I remember I made the comment on the sound, because I was like, well, she barged it open, but then the sound was like a little crack. <laughs> Looking back down below, I could care less about my surroundings right now. Thanks, Dad. The anticipation and excitement of the thought of sharing one of my favorite books with someone else might then begin running home. I'm almost there, anyways. Well, Natsuki was more aggressively loud. Still, just saying you dislike somebody because they're loud, I still feel like isn't exactly a good... <laughs> I, I still feel like Natsuki's getting a little too much hate here. I also feel like she's kind of being made... And considering also, like, her, per her... Considering also the personality she had when Monica was talking to all the girls when MC wasn't there, and Sayori was like, we just have to show them around and stuff. And then it was like, Natsuki seems like she's making a face that she wants her to shut up. I'm like, Natsuki's not that mean. <laughs> I was like, like, she's not that rude. Hell, if anything, you could make the total argument that the only reason why Natsuki was really mean to the MC in the base game was because she liked him. So if we, so if you take that and you say, oh, she's not romantically involved with him in this mod, then she has no reason to even be this mean to him to begin with. Because a lot of the reason why she was even mean to MC before is because she was doing the whole Sundere thing. And she does the Sundari, then the Sundari thing happens to people the Sundari likes. <laughs> yeah, so unless she does like MC in this mod, but I don't know, so far it does not seem that way. So far it's just like she hates him. <laughs> I'm a bit tired after all that running, but I made it. I took the domain I call home, I locked the door behind me. Once I'm in, I quickly place my backpack on the couch. Monica, I'm like echoing off of you. Oh, okay. Turn around to face my stairs, I head up to my room to change clothes. Oh my god, the window's open. Close it! They can't know! They can't know if we have a bed in here! Once I'm in, I take off my school uniform and switch into some more normal clothes. Our school uniform is a little bit stuffy, which I don't mind. It gets me comfy when the temperatures drop, but sometimes it's a bit restricting. I'm switching to jeans and a t-shirt. I leave my room and make my way over to the TV in the living room. Yeah, Rich Hods, but Monica's- but Monica is an autistic Rich Hods. <laughs> You're saying autistic people take things at base value, he just sees a rude person right now, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when they switched to Monica's perspective, and Natsuki was still being an asshole. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm like, Monica isn't autistic, so there's no reason for why Monica would think that way. Natsuki was still being a dickhead, even in Monica's point of- even in Monica's perspective, which I'm like, that's not how Natsuki would act. <laughs> My parents brought a record player when I was little, and it still works to this day. Truly amazing. The first record I've seen our stack of them was one of my favorite heavy metal vinyls that I recently picked up. Once I take it out of the case, it gets placed on the player, and I set the needle on the vinyl. I can't help but feel more happy as soon as the sounds of one of my favorite songs start playing. Walking over to the freezer, I grab a frozen pizza and begin tearing off the single-use plastic wrapping prepared for dinner time. Wee. I'm not sure I agree with that interpretation, Zero. All I'm saying is, if Natsuki was actually like that, she wouldn't be in the she wouldn't be in the club. <laughs> like that's the other thing. It's like that's why I never understood about like people who make Natsuki so much of an asshole. Because it's like, do you think she would still be in the club if she acted like that? <laughs> like no, nobody would keep her around. <laughs> she has to have some sort of redeeming trait about her. <laughs> Several minutes later, the oven beeps as loud as it was programmed to. Telling me that the pizza's done. 
All right, it's hungry food time. This will make homework go by much easier. Carefully taking the beets out of the oven and allowing some time for it to cool off, I happily dig in and then return to my homework in front of me. Not because there wasn't too much today, just my least favorite subject of all time. History. You keep bringing up history, buddy. <laughs> you, you, you back off of history, mister. I don't think I'll be able to use it in my future. My future. That well, seems a little bit scary. Welcome to high school. <laughs> what am I going to do after high school? I'm not totally sure what career path I'd like to go on. I wonder if mom and dad will help out with that. Maybe they'll help me get on disability or something. Maybe they'll help with getting me a job. Who knows? Speaking of which, I still can't remember what Monica said. Just hate to have that happen. What are the chances that it'll show... Wait, what? Hang on. Where'd the music go? Shoot. I know what that means. Pushing myself away from the kitchen table, I get up and walk over to the record player. Grabbing the vinyl and flipping it over, I don't quite place the needle on it yet. A stack of records catches my attention for a bit, especially one called Select Songs from Sega. Man, my parents bought this when I was little, and it's still in somewhat decent shape. I mean, I used to play this quite often back then. Oh, okay, I'm not going to have any control. Just the music accordingly, if you wish, you please go to continue. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be fine. I have no control. Mom and Dad loved each other very much back then. They still to this day, even if they're far away. I learned a lot from them, whether it be social stuff, how things, life, how things in life worked, the list goes on. I really owe it to them for helping me be the person I'm proud to be, even if we do get to even if we do get on each other's nerves once in a rare while. I remember the few times when I was little when mom and dad would dance in this very living room to this record. My big brother would tease them about it sometimes, but that never really seemed to bother them. They looked so happy with each other, and it was shown by how they moved and looked at each other. One thing my dad would say to my mom sometimes that, stu that stuck with me was, You'll always be my everything to me. And she loved it every time he said that. It's funny, some of the things that you remember that stick with you like that. Maybe I'll be in their footsteps someday. Okay, I'm assuming his parents, like, moved somewhere. They can't be dead, because I don't know how they're going to help him with disability. So that's where I'm like, all right, we, that's the other mystery. we got to figure out what happened to his parents. Hmm. I'm not saying Nasu's character is the best. It might not be. I'm just making sense of MC's opinion of her. That's fair. You did a good job. Or you did a good job giving, like, the reason why it's MC might uh, not. Uh, ma. You made a good, you did a good job explaining why MC might not like her instantly. And that's fine. Like I said, I was like, I'm fine. I'm over that. My point is the way that she's characterized from what Monica was looking at her. I'm like, so far, I don't know. I'll have to obviously see more to really dictate whether or not she's good. She's going to be too angry in this. But uh, so far, it ain't looking too good for Natsuki. <laughs> so far, Natsuki fans might not want to be watching. Is all I have to say. Maybe another time, friend. After giving me some thought, it's best I get some reading done before bedtime. Hmm. Playing music probably isn't the smartest idea right now. Not before bedtime, at least. That being said, though, I make my way towards the stairs and walk up to my bedroom. Upon entering my room, I remembered something I thought of earlier today. Maybe if I bring one of my books... Yeah, where is it? Approaching my bookshelf, it only, it, it only took a few seconds to find the book I was looking for. Ah, here it is. Ellie, the jungle's savior. I hope she'll like this one. Book in hand, hang downstairs where my backpack is, open it up and place the book in it. My hands begin to fidget a little bit out of excitement, but that doesn't last for long. I think I've done everything down here I need to for the night. 
Walking back upstairs to my room, I change into the proper clothes for bedtime, stretch for a bit, then hop in bed, rolling over on my left side. It doesn't take long for me to get comfy and get lost in thought. I already said it, but I hope Yuri likes the book I bring in for her. It'd also be nice to get her to get to know her a little better. We'll see what happens.